Right? It's up here. Ow! What the hell? Where are we? We're together, James. For the first time in a long time. Why are you doing it? Because I need an explanation, James. One you're not gonna bail out of. An explanation? From me? How about one from you? You don't deserve an explanation. I mean, it's perfectly obvious why I didn't answer any of your phone calls after what you did to me. What did I do? You left me alone, James. You left me stranded in an airplane, bawling next to the empty seat next to me while I was flying away from the only home I'd ever known. Cassie, I was at the airport. I didn't abandon you. You, you knew this. Why didn't you tell her any of it? We only met a few days ago. She just told me that you'd done something bad to her and that she needed my help in finding you. And that's all I really know. I thought you were in university. But that ended in April. You guys finished in April? Hey, April? hey, you guys. Finish your family reunion when I'm done with you, okay? How do I know you're not lying? Just let Matt untie me and I'll prove it. Untie him. Hugh didn't want me to go. He stole my boarding pass and they wouldn't let me go through the gate unless I got another one. And even when I did, the gate was closed. So why didn't you just call me? I didn't put my phone on airplane mode until the flight attendant literally threatened to take it away. It wasn't really my first thought. I had a lot going through my mind that day, Cassie. Hey, so why didn't you just take the next flight? They wouldn't change it. And it's not like I could afford another one. Cassie, this whole thing was stupid and impulsive. What happened shouldn't have. It hurt me a lot, and I'm sorry I hurt you, but it was out of my control. I'm sorry, too. I should have answered your calls. Yeah. Group hug? Hey, too soon, man. You say you wanted to spend the rest of your life with me, so I'm assuming you also reserved your heart for me. Well. Back up. Whoa, 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 slow, slow down, slow down. I, um, it, it had been three months and I was lonely and I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna see you again. Okay, are you still with her? No, she died. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. What, uh, what happened? Franco pushed her off a bridge. He's the reason for all this, Cassie. He's the reason that you got expelled and had to move. 
He's the reason that she died. He's dangerous, and he's playing with our lives again. Hugh found your house in Kelowna. Franco left a picture of the bridge there with his name signed on it. You being back, I can't help but think there's more. So how do we kill him? It was because her student record was so bad, she couldn't get into any high school in Winnipeg. Her only family out of town was her aunt, who lived here. So that's how Cassie ended up moving here. James must have been heartbroken. He was. And I think I made it worse. He hasn't heard from Cassie in over a year. So I came here to see if she was okay. That's how I found you. What's he done since? He dated another girl last year. Turned out she was employed by Franco. We actually saw him push her off a bridge. Maybe it's not safe for you in Winnipeg anymore. You know, it might be a good thing you came here, actually. So are you going to graduate? Probably not. This is actually my vacation home. I really live in Gastown in Vancouver. I run a program that's designed to help high school dropouts get practical, hands-on education with steady work after the fact. Maybe you consider staying in Vancouver? I think we could really help you out. I think I'd like to hear more. That was awfully fast. I sleep in the school. Nobody knows. You could actually get fired for that. I could get fired for half the stuff I pull off. Oh, I came as soon as I could. That too was really fast. I may sleep in janitor closet. There's leftover mattress from James Bond musical. You do not want to sleep on that mattress. You're probably wondering why we're both here so late. I just assumed you were having another affair. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I won't judge. The division is closing the school. There, the cat's out of the bag. Surely you can't let them do that. Surely you're not standing by. This school is my life. I, I literally live here. We are fighting back, but we need your help. We've been on the phone all day today with the government, divisions, investors. We have a plan. Mmm, that sounds like a lot of work. Work with us or be homeless? Oh, no, I, I own a condo. I'm just too lazy to drive home. What do you need us to do? We're having a big dinner party tomorrow night with all the staff. We need you to buy these supplies. Can I add... Manischewitz to the list? No. It'd be my honor to serve you both. Thank you. Now go back to your closet and get some rest. You know the red hair? It does make you look like you're on fire. It's not the hair. Hate to say I told you so, but- Nigel, what am I going to do? Wrong question. It's not the wrong question. It is, because you know the answer. The right question is, when are you going to do it? I don't know the answer to that yet. Here's the answer. Before the parents do. <sighs> this is such a sad place. I always thought it couldn't get any sadder, and then I found out we're not having a grad. Isn't there a way we could rent out our own venue? If there's so few of us, we don't need that big of a space. But we already have a venue. What venue? The gym. It's empty tonight. Let's have a grad party. But neither of us have our special dresses. You don't need special dresses to have a good grad. We just need each other. All right, let's have a party in the gym. James, uh, you're supposed to be at school. Matt, you're back from the university. Uh, perfect timing. Cassie, this really is a big, big day. As if that matters. What are you doing in a towel? Um. Anyone want to watch uh, Fifty Shades? I'm going to leave. Oh, good idea. Did you really mean what you said? Absolutely. We can't. We'll, we'll be no better than him. We'll be murderers. Yeah, I know that. Is this all you've been thinking about when you were gone? Other things have crossed my mind. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Me too. You know, I, I really think I loved you, James. Would anybody like apple and cheese? Mom, go away. So, aren't you gonna say anything? What is there left to say? Makes so hard after you. What are you guys doing here? 
You're supposed to be at the dining hall. You never told us that? Yes, I did. I texted you. Don't you check your Tinder account? That is not what Tinder's for, Karen. <laughs> it's okay. We'll go to the dining hall. Thank you. At least I can rely on one of my secretaries. You know what's between here and the dining hall? You bet I do. I think my car's gotten a little dirty. <laughs> Time for the wash, I'd say. All right, my little munchkins. Who's ready for today's lesson? We're gonna learn how to play Quidditch. Jules, come speak with us at once. Well, what is it, Mother? I am teaching a class. Well, we believe it's necessary to hurry on the wedding date with you and Mr. Morgan. What? Why? Well, the time is allowed for him to become interested in... other people? I am fully aware of Mr. Morgan's other affiliate. You are? Then why haven't you done something? What's there to do? He doesn't love me. Don't be ridiculous. He to you. Oh, because of some kind of pressure or pity because of the two of you? Jules, don't let him go. He can do something that no one else can. Love you. Well, don't the two of you love me? Of course we do. We only want what's best for you. You don't get to decide that. Only I can. You know what? I am ending my engagement with Mr. Morgan, and I want both of you to leave the city and never return until you realize that I can make my own decisions. People have always said that you should love your family because they're blood relatives. This school, this is my family. And I love them more than I will ever love the two of you. When I get home, you better be gone. And if you're not, I will file a restraining order. Mother, father, goodbye. I was just wondering if we might be expecting you at our program this week. I haven't decided yet. Well, I, I can't decide for you, Hugh. What I can tell you is that you're just the kind of kid we're looking for. I mean, we have advisors who can help you get the requirements you need for a good, steady job. And we can even help you get your high school diploma in a form that works best for you. I know your train leaves tomorrow. And you can still cancel a ticket, and if you decide to go home, that's great. But if you decide to stay, I think we can really help you. Thank you. Goodbye, Hugh. Who's he? He's my cousin. He said he always wanted to play at a high school graduation. Good, you're good. Uh, go home. Okay, thanks. Wow, this is legit stuff. I didn't have any money to get you real fake diplomas. Let's speed up this gong show. You have rap? I want to dance. Fun, isn't it? Yeah, two teenage girls sad dancing alone in a big open gym. Never had more fun in my life. Look at what we've done here, Karen. Everyone's here, working together. Because of us. Because of us. You're not so bad to work with, Clive. Well, you know what? You're not so bad either. <laughs> well, cheers to our new adventures. Ah, to adventures. 
We're here. You're late. We were riding car wash. Go get the food out. Now, go, go, move. Go, go. Mr. Morgan, I'd like to speak with you. No, 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 no. Stop running. Jules, no. I... Mr. Morgan, I'll save your breath. I know you're with Nigel, and I know that you don't love me. At first, I wasn't okay with it, but I've been doing some thinking. We can't control who we fall in love with. I fell in love with someone who doesn't love me back, but that's not your responsibility. So I'm breaking off the engagement. Jules. No. It's okay. You're happy. And one day I'll be happy too. But we need to be with someone who loves us back. A family. You will always be my Millworth family. Thank you, Jules. You'll always be my family too. May I have everybody's attention, please? I suppose you're all wondering why Clive and I invited you here tonight. It's not for a cheery reason. In fact, you'll probably be quite upset. What's going on, Karen? Well, you know the division's been making cuts. And usually when a division does that, it only means one thing. What are you saying? Millworth High School is closing. So what's all this then, this fancy party? Just trying to lighten the blow? No. Yeah, I mean, we're unionized, right? Surely they won't allow this. In a typical situation, you'd all be reassigned to other schools. We were all just reassigned. I think we've had enough. Before I go any further, let me ask you one question. Why did you all become teachers? No, seriously. Why? If you became one simply because it's a respectable job, or because you get good pay, or summer's off, then get the hell out right now. Because we have a plan. And it doesn't include teachers like that. I would hope that everybody in this room join the education system to make an impact on students' lives. Am I wrong in thinking that? Then why haven't you been able to? Come on, somebody answer the question. Because we don't have the resources. Bingo! Ding, 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 ding! So what's the solution? We can't create money out of nowhere. Well. That's exactly what we have done. There are schools that can alter their curriculum to help students that can't operate in a normal classroom situation. But it requires a lot of money. And there's only one way to get that. We're leaving the school division. That's right. We're going private. Jules, the funding we can get for counseling is incredible. In fact, we're sending you back to school to be properly certified. Oh, wow. Imagine all the puppets. <laughs> Teachers, imagine being able to choose your courses that you're passionate about. Don't you think that would improve lesson quality? And Jenny, I'm not sure what we're doing with you yet, but we will figure something out. We have arranged for private investors to buy the school. And you all have a job at the new school. Welcome, Welcome to Millworth Alternative, Alternative School. Uh, thanks for letting me stay so long, but I should probably be heading home. Yeah, I understand. Uh, Matt says we should go back to the school. Why? He says he's in trouble. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for coming. I hear the critics are raving. Look, Franco, just come out, okay? Come out and Don't even it. try talking back to me. I can't hear you. Welcome to the final show, James and Cassie. I'll check the classrooms. Are you okay with checking the office? I've waited for this moment for far too long.
I only wish I could tell where you are. I could help guide you, but then again, the surprise on your face when you do find me wouldn't be so satisfying. Well, you two are certainly taking your time. But then again, what is time to you? I knew that when I put you both back together, time would forget itself. You'd be off at each other's side, saving the day as if nothing ever happened. And here we are. Care to join me? It's a spectacular show. Next stop, Broadway, if you ask me. Well, it's a good thing I didn't ask you. I guess you could watch the performance then from standing up. Underneath one of those chairs is enough dynamite to blow up this theater. But think of what four times that can do. Don't bring them into this. Okay, Franco, they've done nothing wrong. This is between me and you. Okay, it's a, it's a family friendship gone wrong. Yeah, I've kept that in mind. I kept in mind the drugs you threw out, the police you called, the fight you caused. You're just as dangerous to me as I am to you. Then why kill them? Why not just try and kill me? Well, I don't actually want to kill them, but I needed some bait. Bait? No, they're not bait. Okay, these are real people with, with dreams and lives and futures. So save them. I mean, let them live out those dreams. Those lives, futures. I mean, all you gotta do is give up yours. Best seat in the house. So all I have to do is sit there. That's right. Right. Fine, I'll, I'll do it. I'll save them, give me the chair. As you wish, my queen. I've always wondered what people will do for love, including love beyond romance. Love for life, love for others, love for hatred. What I discovered is that people would go to extreme lengths. The people are things that they love. It's almost as if common sense and reasoning go flying out the window. I've also discovered that people will behave that exact same way. Even when the people they love don't even love them back. You're right, Franco. People do all sorts of irrational things when you don't love them back, but is that really the reason for all of this? Your obsession? I mean, you must really love us to be this crazy. Whatever speech that you have planned, James, you've only got about another minute to do it. That's a good thing I already know what I'm gonna say. You killed Stella, and you're ready to kill again. But it was you that killed her, okay? You shouted, I jumped. My hand hit her leg, I didn't know what else to do. That doesn't excuse you. I didn't want the fight, either. Okay, I just wanted to scare Cassie. I didn't think that she'd agree to it. I just, I thought she'd be too scared. You still did it. Keeping your image up has always been more important to you than other people's lives, hasn't it? Oh, we all played a part. Okay, you think I wanted this? You think I wanted any of it? All right, you all made me out to be this monster, right? So, I mean, if I wasn't that, then, then who was I? So what am I supposed to do? Let me go. You love Cassie too much to have your last moments with her be this.
go. Let's get out of here. No, James, what you said, be I- quiet. No, what you did, I have I to said talk be quiet. to <sighs> Movies always say to cut the red wire, but they never tell you what to do when all of them look the same. No, oh, James, stop. Okay, we're stuck here. We're stuck here together. I have to find out how to save you. Well, you said enough, okay? You've said everything you can to save me. That's enough for me. Cassie, this is an alarm clock, and the dynamite is red wood. He tricked us. I guess he brought us closer together and told us how much we mean to each other. Well, um, do you want to untie me? Oh. <laughs> a gun to Franco's head. Not exactly. Um, is a prop from James Bond the musical. <laughs> I'm gonna go get us a drink. <laughs> hey, Mr. Morgan. Good evening. Uh, good evening. <laughs> so, I hear you and Mr. Treblecloth are together. Yeah, <laughs> we, we are. Um... Mr. Grant stopped by the office with a letter. Here you are, your favorite. Thanks. Everything okay, Jack? Yeah. Everything's uh, better than ever. Hey, Hugh. Hi, James. Are you on your way back? Uh, well... You're not. No. So when are you coming back? I don't actually know if I'm ever coming home. What... what is that supposed to mean? I'm not graduating. I, I don't have the credits or the grades. And here, I have an opportunity that I don't have at home. So you're, uh... You're leaving me. It's not you, James. It's just, I... It's okay. I used to think that people leaving was the worst thing in the world. I've always been so sad and alone. I think that sadness and guilt should be the least of our worries, right? I mean, after all, there's, there's a reason why everyone leaves. You have a reason, Hugh. A chance to prove yourself. And, and you should take it. Take it and run. You're... You're the closest friend I've ever had. Yeah, you too. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. <laughs> don't worry about me. You're gonna be okay. Like we all are. I will come visit you, I promise. Distance is only distance. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you so much. Um, I'm gonna miss you too. Say, uh, you ever hear anything about what happened to Franco? <laughs> yeah, I did. Thank you.
everything's taken care of. Some kids just get what they deserve. Falling out of my head now. Falling out of my head, and I see. One, take one A, mark. <laughs> 